Hello, this is George, and I'm going to continue my ser series of 100 day art projects. And this one is day number 54, and it's what I like to call a sexton background. For this background, I'm using my Neo Color 2s. They act like uh, watercolor, but I like the ability to have a, a controlled amount of uh, color in a specific um, area, like here with the green um, and you can use whatever colors you want with um, the neo colors they're like watercolor so once the the wet neo colors are dry you can apply for another la layer which I will do later on. But use whatever colors you want. I mean, if you like warm colors versus cool colors, go for it. It's, after all, your background. And if you're liking the video, if you could have a, give me a solid by liking the video, that way YouTube will show it to more people. Thank you. You can use whatever brush you are comfortable with. Here, I'm using a number four round from the Princeton Art, and like I said, the the description will have my supplies listed if you're interested. But usually. I like to go with a broader point in the early stages and later on I will switch for a number two round for my f finer work but you'll see that later on. Right now, I was trying to have more of a broader expanse of the brush. Don't be overly cautious in the colors that you employ for your fear of making mud because when you do, and you probably will, create a little bit of um, ugly stage with your wash, don't concern yourself too much because as with watercolor, as 
you can also uh, with the near color twos layer on top of each other so if you don't like something let it dry and apply a bit more color that makes you happy. So the first part of the background is done. I'm going to let, let it dry and go back in with my stencil and using it to create a bit of um, section with within the background. What I will do when I have them together is every section that is separated I will introduce more color so that the sections are more delineated. Sorry about that. For example, I did a bit of orange and I'm going to go in with more green. So I'm going to go up to the line, stop, and then with a, another brush, with work the orange and green together and create a little bit of a different hue than the um, uh, background initially. And another example, I'm going to go in with a little bit of blue and again with the um, point edges I'm going to get some more contrast to the circle And then a little bit of contrast with the mauve color. And once I do that, I will go in with the brush again and create more contrast from the initial background color. It sounds a little bit more complicated than it is in actual actuality. And once you start doing it, it will become like second nature. You will just go with the flow. Again, don't worry too much about creating what might be considered mud or an ugly color com combination. It all works out in the end.
And if you are liking the video, if you want to receive a notification when I do another video, um, hit the subscribe up button and you'll get notified when I upload another video. Thank you. I like to approach the sections in that the sections that come together, one will change in the way it looks. It doesn't have to be a stark difference. Subtlety is a great tool. Now, I'm using a 180-pound paper. It's um, sturdy, but you can't overwork the paper. So if you want to do three or more layers, I would suggest maybe going with um, heavier stock, more like a 300 or 400 pound paper. That way you can apply as much as you want as far as layers go. And I'm using a cold pressed paper here, but it's not as chuckle as I like, but rather smooth. And here is an example of having a control approach to doing your wash with the Neo Color 2s. First, I do a little bit of color, and then I um, go in with more water and set, spread it out. Once they have the background is dry, you can go in and doodle your fader patterns or whatever you want. Or you can just hang it on your wall as a piece of abstract artwork. Once again, I guess I just don't know when to stop.
So, what do you think? Are you going to try my sextant background? It's totally easy. Well, I hope you enjoy the demonstration of my section background, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, and have a great day.